Hello everyone, welcome to another MLM shit show. And today we're back to watch an Arbonne training. I've been talking about Arbonne a lot lately, but I haven't really done like a special video where we just go through a training. And to be perfectly honest, I screen recorded this. I watched a few minutes and then I left the room and left it to screen record. So I have no clue what's waiting for us. Today's former MLM hunt to a business owner shout out goes to my girl DC. Technically, I know she's not a business owner when it comes to YouTube but if you don't know who she is she's been working very hard on calling out multi-level marketing companies she's a fellow youtuber she used to be an mlm hun and i've just been loving her content lately please go sub to her because i would really love to see her get monetized because like i said she puts a lot of work into creating anti-mlm content speaking about mlm companies and every shitty thing that they do so yeah i would really appreciate if we could go show her some support show her some love and this is not perfect because because my lights are fading and it's very gloomy outside it's very dark and you can barely see my companions in there don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you would like to support me and let's just put a little disclaimer in here and let's get into this Arbon shit show so I need to get some new fairy lights and you guys can let me know what do you prefer? Do you remember when I had the yellow lights? Do you think the yellow were better? Would white be better? Or is it red? Should I keep them red? I feel like yellow. Even though the red goes with my couch blankets as well. Uh, my grandma made those blankets. I have two of them. So if you ever wonder why I never change my blankets on my couch. Um, I have two of them. Okay, I switch them regularly. And my grandma made them. She passed away last year. So they are a nice, nice memory that I have from her. I'm gonna start crying. I miss her. <laughs> okay, so this is your usual discover our bond type of video. So let's just get into it. Before we get started, I'd like to invite all of you to leave any fears and hesitations you have at the side and just listen with an open heart and an open mind because you never know what if. Whoever sent you this video did so because they see something so big in you or they see how you can truly benefit with this business. So take it as a compliment and just run with it. For as long as I can remember, I've been chasing my passion. I've worn many hats in my short life from makeup artistry to medical aesthetics, yoga, sales in various capacities, from business development in the property tech space to real estate in London, England. I was first introduced to Arbonne back in high school. They had this kick-ass made in the shade SPF self tanner that I would order religiously. And since then I've been an advocate for the products. Five years ago, I was introduced to the business opportunity. At the time I had been backpacking around the world and really looking or prioritizing a job that could like fund my nomadic lifestyle. With a background in sales and experience in the beauty, health and wellness space, I thought it was a perfect fit for me. I quickly promoted to district manager with a small team and this was at the Speaking of the nomadic lifestyle, my boyfriend of many years, many, many years, um, not that many, we were saving to buy a house. So instead of buying a house next year, we actually decided that we are going to travel a little bit. So we're going to work and travel. We've been talking about it for over a year and we finally decided, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. These huns don't read my bio. It literally says anti-MLM YouTube channel in my bio. Bio, but I still get cold messages from reps. Um, so I bet when I start talking about this, this lifestyle and what we're going to do and our plans and when we actually go do this thing, I'm going to get so many cold messages. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to share all of them with you guys here. I'm going to keep you guys updated. It's still far away. Like it's not going to happen this year, probably not next year because we still need to save money and my current salary is very, very small. So I'm rambling about my life. This is not why you're here. So let's keep watching. The income disclosure statement is going to be down below. So you can take a look at how many people actually earn any kind of money with our bond. The end of my travels. So after two years, I returned home to Canada where my social conditioning clicked in and I decided, okay, time to find a real job. I quit my Arbonne business immediately. Um, my team and my preferred clients all went direct to my upline and I pursued, pursued that 60 hour work week. Fast forward to March, 2020, long story short, I was forced to move back to Canada from the UK to wait for the global pandemic to blow over. And I eventually found myself unemployed again, trying to figure out what I really wanted out of my future. 
I was on the hunt for something I was passionate about, something that could match or replace my real estate income or have the potential to, something that would strengthen my leadership skills and encourage personal development, something that would help others or positively influence others, something that acted as a creative outlet for me, something that gave me a work-life balance or time and financial freedom. Every time I sat down to the drawing board and daydreamed about my future, all signs pointed back to Arbonne. I'd been sitting on this vehicle, constantly daydreaming about the possibilities with this business. And that's when I finally decided, what if? What if this damn thing works? What if I earn a little extra money? What if I grow a sustainable business? Damn thing is the right right way to call this. I would definitely agree that this is a damn fucking thing that does not work for 99% of people. But also we see another pattern that kind of matches my pattern is she was unemployed during the pandemic, right? And that's unfortunately when she was desperate, she was vulnerable, she wanted some income, she didn't have it obviously, and she fell straight back into the Arbon biz. So that's unfortunate for her. I really think that she's just severely brainwashed, but I don't know. Let's keep watching. The great thing about jumping into Arbon the second time is that I've seen how simple and duplicatable the business really is. I've grown. I've pushed my ego aside. I know what I want and I know Arbon can take me there. Here's why. Arbonne is an equal opportunity, vegan, health and wellness network marketing company with four decades of history. Our brand philosophy embraces the connection between a healthy mind, body, and skin. Our founder, Petter Mork, was a visionary. He wanted Arbonne to be a place where people could flourish. Thankfully, work habits are changing and online businesses are booming. Honey, if you have an internet connection and a smartphone, you can run an Arbonne business. Now more than ever, people understand the importance of having a second, third, even fourth stream of income. 40% of Americans and 15% of Canadian workers generate an income from the gig economy, which means they have a side hustle. In North America, in 2018, the side gig industry accounted for an estimated $1.4 trillion of income. 92% of people make a purchase based on recommendations from someone they know and trust. That is exactly the business model with Arbonne. Not to mention the health and wellness industry is a $4.2 trillion industry that continues to grow. In 2021, the clean skincare industry is estimated to grow an extra 10%. We truly are in the right place at the right time with the social marketing, the e-commerce and the wellness boom. And I know you're thinking, well, Karen down the street does it, so I can. Good for Karen. I'll tell you what, in North America, Arbon has 3% brand awareness, which means there is tremendous opportunity for you still. Arbon gives you everything you need to be successful. It really is equal opportunity with no discrimination. It doesn't matter your skill set, your education, your background. If you're 18 years or older, you can run an Arbon business. You have access to all the free tools, trainings that everybody else has. Isn't that already a big giant red flag if they're saying, well, no experience needed, you just need to be 18 or more. Yeah, I know they say they have tools and stuff to train you, but this is supposed to be a sales job. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows that sales is not for everyone, not everyone can do sales, especially if you're a fucking big fucking introvert like myself. I would rather work my fully remote job for a teeny tiny salary, I'm trying to get a raise, okay? Rather than go into sales and earn a shit ton of money because I know as much as I would like to have more money and more opportunities and not having to live paycheck from paycheck, I could not, like I would mentally deteriorate if I tried to go into 
going to sales and if I have to talk to strangers all day long and trying to sell them something and I'm not talking about an MLM I'm talking about a legitimate sales job that pays you a shit ton of money usually but yeah not everyone can do that okay it's not as easy as they make it sound also it is not about sales mostly from what we've seen and in my own opinion Arbonne is mostly just about recruitment and the opportunity and not about actual products and selling them as a consultant you will have your own online website that people can order directly from and it ships to them direct from their local warehouse so you have the opportunity for global expansion across Canada the US the UK Australia New Zealand and Poland one of my favorite things about Arbonne is how it's changed me as a person through the community and the focus on personal development who doesn't love to be a part of like-minded people who are passionate and just encourage you to do the damn thing? We really are so much more than a lipstick biz. The quality products are just a bonus. It's so incredible to be a part of such a high vibe environment where people really just want the best for you and the best for the planet. People with passion and people with purpose make the world a better place. You may even discover a new calling along your journey. As for the products, I absolutely love how transparent Arbonne is with their stringent ingredient policy. Here are a few stats that will blow your mind. The FDA bans 11 ingredients from their personal care products. The European Union, which is the highest standard worldwide, bans 1,400 ingredients from their personal care products. Arbonne goes above and beyond and bans 2,000 ingredients from their personal care products. Wow, as a consumer of these products, I love that I can confidently choose any product from the Arbonne website, and I know that it will be safe for me and give me the quality results that I'm looking for. Not to mention these products are consumable, which means when people purchase them, they run out, they need them to be replaced. What does that mean for you? Commissions, baby, but I'll get into the details on how we get paid shortly. I can confidently say that most people use either a shampoo, a face wash, body wash, deodorant, toothpaste, cosmetics, or some kind of nutrition product at least once a day. So I was so happy to discover that I didn't need to convince people to buy something that they didn't need or weren't already using. I just had to show them what was in it for them to switch their brand to a cleaner and safer product. And we really do have something for everyone from cradle to grave. Many of our products are verified by a third-party certification that we wear proudly. They range from OU kosher, vegan, cruelty-free, non-GMO, no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners. We have been cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free since our inception 41 years ago, before veganism was even cool. Now, this has become a true passion of mine as of late, sustainability. Arbonne is committed to increasing its sustainability measures by decreasing waste, reducing plastic, and increasing recycling. We are a certified B Corp company, which means that we're held to higher standards across several levels of accountability, from environmental impact to customer welfare and social impact. We value people and the planet over profits. We are committed to advancing our leadership in this. Okay, I have to disagree with that one right there. The whole issue I have with Arbonne and multi-level marketing companies, and I'm sure most of the people in the anti-MLM movement, is not the fact the product, like an MLM company can have good products. It is not about the products or how sustainable they are. That would be great and dandy, right? If they were not a multi-level marketing company, if they were not an ethical business, it is unethical. Like look at the income disclosure statement of your company. Look how many people are at the bottom they're buying the products. They're spending a shit ton of money on those products. Arbonne is expensive as fuck. They have so much stuff that they're like, well, you have to change your cleaning stuff with this. Like you have to change everything that you use in your house, in your apartment with Arbonne products. And that's going to cost you a lot of money. Just look at how many people are at the bottom hustling, buying all of these Arbonne products and are not earning any money in return. And they are doing all of this because they were promised falsely 
that if they work hard enough and long enough and if they never give up they're going to get to the top one percent they're gonna be super successful residual income baby whatever when most of them don't get to that ever and this is not me spewing some bullshit here your own company puts out an income disclosure statement regularly and it just keeps getting worse and worse like people don't earn any money with it so it's really not about the products it is about the business model and i appreciate at least okay she's talking about products she's not really talking about the opportunity anymore still 99% of people fail they're gonna spend their money onto these products they're gonna work for free and they're never gonna get anything in return when they could be doing something else that would provide them with the extra income that we so much need right now every one of us out there needs an extra income now with the fucking inflation and everything that's going on in the world social responsibility landscape and use the power of our business as a force for good Arbon is committed to being zero waste by 2030 and reduce our carbon footprint by 30%. We are already over 22% of the way there, thanks to our PCR packaging and our Arbonne Cycle program. Ask the consultant who shared this video with you for more information on Arbonne Cycle. Passion for philanthropy? Great, us too. Our Arbonne Flourish Foundation is focused and committed to building resilience in the mind of our future generations. In 2020, we raised over $1.3 million and helped over 100,000 youth. To date, we have helped over 415,000 youth. Our CEO is committed to not only being the best company in the world, but the best company for the world, and we are already proving that's possible. As an independent- It is really, really funny and at the same time very sad to me that they do so much to help everyone, be sustainable, help the youth, whatever. The CEO is such a nice guy, right? He's just so good. He's a philanthropist. So why do you care about everyone else? Not that there's anything wrong with it. Sure, that's fine help the youth however however most of your distributors are probably your customers as, as well so why do you care about everyone else and you give out so much to everyone else but you have people who are your customers and your distributors who are suffering working for free basically or little to no income why don't you care more about them why did you turn this into an mlm company that hurts people that just does not make a lot of sense to me consultant it is our job to stop shopping from places like sephora shoppers drug mart gmc and start shopping from our own online store at a discount once you find the products you love and i know you'll love them you share them with others it's really that simple we already do this all the time anyways so why not be more intentional about these referrals or recommendations and monetize those with a generous compensation? We can share these products and or the business opportunity in a variety of ways through videos like this, Zoom calls, live events, one-on-ones, however your little heart desires. And I know you're busy, but the great thing about this business is you can fit it into the nooks and crannies of your life and build the business on your own terms. Arbonne just pays us for that referral and the customer support. We get paid once a week and we earn in a variety of ways. First being product sales and referrals. Second is through our team building efforts. And it's important to aka through recruitment which makes something a pyramid scheme lady and you just said the quiet part out loud if you're getting incentives for recruitment that sounds very very pyramid schemey interesting very interesting also you get paid once a week most of the company doesn't get paid once a week they don't pay get paid at all they barely get 200 dollars per year so that is not true like some people get paid once a week to know that we don't get paid for recruiting people once we introduce people to the business we mentor them we train them how to sell products we get a bonus so she says they're not getting paid for recruitment and it says little disclaimer we only get paid when products are being sold however when you recruit someone they're going to buy a starter kit because they have to use the products in order well they don't but obviously you have to use the products yourself in order to be able to sell them and promote them so you technically are getting paid for recruitment that's just my own opinion technically it's not but technically it is direct from Arbonne that does not cut into their earnings at all. It comes direct from Arbonne as a leadership bonus. 
This is a hybrid of direct sales and network marketing and is a very lucrative duo. The third way is through Achiever Awards, which are available at every level of management. Arbonne never leaves money on the table and there's always so much opportunity to earn. There are four levels of management and a system built for success at each level. It is up to you how long it takes you to get there. I encourage you. She says four levels. There are not four, there's five levels. And this happened with the Arbonne influencer as well. She completely disregarded the independent consultant rank, which doesn't earn anything little to no money annually. So I wonder, were they told to do that? To just disregard the lowest rank and just pretend as if there's only four ranks? That's interesting, an interesting pattern that we're seeing now. To visit earnings.arbonne.com for an average breakdown of monthly and annual earnings at each level. Now, if you've heard anything today that sparked interest, or maybe you'd like to turn your desire for a healthier lifestyle into an opportunity to earn, then join, I invite you to join Arbonne. I invite you to join this incredible community and empower others to do the same. I also wanna mention, guys, this business is what you make it. There are more self-made millionaires in network marketing than any other business. You don't have to be passionate about Arbonne or network marketing but this business could pay for your passion. It could pay for your rent, your car payment, your holidays, your groceries, whatever. The choice is yours and it's up to you. Now, if you're not ready to jump into the business yet, but you'd like to try some of our amazing products to see if it's a brand that you can get behind, you can join as a preferred customer while you receive 20 to 35% off your products for the whole year. There's a 45 day money back guarantee, so you really have nothing to lose. Thank you so much for listening. Thank yourself for making it this far in the video. I love sharing this opportunity and I'm so passionate about the potential that it has for you. Just remember, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And in the words of Glennon Doyle, you can do hard things. Just ask yourself, if you keep doing what you're doing five years from now, where will you be? Take this as a sign that you may or may not have been looking for and reach out to the consultant that shared this video with you. I promise the journey is worth it. Well, that was kind of deceitful in my opinion. I love how she just put in a lot of income claims at the end. And lady, I don't know if you're aware, but you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say this business is going to pay your bills or for your groceries. That is an illegal income claim. So let me know down below what you thought about this. Let me know down below if I missed to comment on something that she said, but that's problematic. Feel free to debunk her statements yourself if I forgot to mention something. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here, especially if you made it this far. The algorithm loves it. And and don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to support me and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.